Welcome builders, Andy is your here and welcome to top 10 tips for building underground bases in Minecraft. I think you should use the 5x5 building system, but that's just me. Let me show you some top tips anyway. First tip is to have a really cool entryway into your underground base and using these bubbles is a really good way of getting in and out. I've done a separate video on this, so I don't want to spend too long on this. Click the link in the description you want to see how to make this special bubble system which gets you out but doesn't let you back in until you click this little hidden button over here. You could hide it better and that means you could get down back down into your base because the bubbles, <coughs> bubbles, go away bubbles, are gone and you can even put a little button here, press that and it'll bring the soul sand back and put the bubbles there and mean people can't get into your base. So that is the first tip. Tip number one, build this really cool bubble entry system and that way you're going to get access uh, to your base and it's also locked from other people getting in and out. As I say, separate video on that link in the description. Tip number two would be to use the 5x5 building system here. So when you build and when you expand, you're going to hack out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 5 deep as well. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then just get rid of all these blocks. So that way, when you expand your base, you expand it in these little 5x5 chunks and your base still looks good it always looks like it's been built properly and by someone who's thinking and planning whereas actually you're not really thinking and planning all that much because hey ain't nobody got time for that all you need to do oops is expand it in little five by five sections and every time you do this hack along this like that oops one two three four five like that oh that seems to be a bit too far andy one, two, three. Oh, you don't go five. <laughs> well, that's good. You only have to go four each time. Four blocks each time. Sideways, that is. Four blocks sideways. Let's put those back. And then we're going to go one, two, three. And then we up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Like that. And that is the way to expand because everything looks centered everything looks like it's part of a plan we can have these come along here like that and you can expand your base without it looking an absolute shambles it always looks like it's let's put these up here like it's uh being planned in a meaningful way and you can have ladders going up and down between the levels you can have things in these little three by three gaps as well you've always got a way of making it bigger or smaller and uh incorporating more features. So tip number two, use the five by five building system. As you can see, I've got a little hack here, which lets me do this. And you can see the five by five building system really does lend itself to expansion really nicely. Look at that. You can just expand, expand, expand into new territory. You can go back the way as well, deeper through here into your base. And it always just looks absolutely Fabulous. Actually, this one needs to go there. And there we go. Look at that. How cool is this? You just keep on going. Keep on going deeper and deeper. If you want to know what this uh, tool I've got, this gunpowder, this is for Java Edition PC. And it's called Voxel Sniper for servers. Uh, so that's how to expand your base. So that's two tips. 5x5 five five system and a cool entryway. Let's go on for eight more tips. Here's what happens in a live stream. We had some fun here making a 5x5 five five underground base system. So please hit that notification bell if you subscribe to me on YouTube because I'll be live streaming on Twitch and YouTube simultaneously just about every day planning out my next build. So come and join in the fun and you could be adding your ideas into the videos that get made on the next day. Okay, so what are we doing here? So tip number three, the little 5x5 five five system lends itself to cute little enchantment rooms. Look at this. This is cool. You could even put a little ender chest in the ceiling. How cool is that? It just works. The 5x5 five five system works. There's plenty of books here. I'm sure this is a full power enchantment room. Okay, so that's tip number three, enchantment tests, chests. Uh, tip number four, because of the Minecraft update, look, you can stack chests really close to each other like that. It looks kind of epic in this 3x3 three three system here. Just putting in some, some lights behind. Um, putting in um, these blocks here also work as well. The upside down stairs work really nicely there as well, just to add a bit of depth and also to make sure you can actually open the chests because normally in the 5x5 five five system, you would have these here like that and it makes it very difficult to open. So you've got to do something about it. So that's the tip number uh, four. 
chests. Okay, let's walk along here and see what else we have got to see. Um, the auto smelter. I've got a better version of this downstairs. <laughs> downstairs but down there somewhere we've got a better version of the auto smelter so i'll show you that in just a few seconds um time we've got stairs here for tip number five stairs this is really cool nice design um so to build these stairs here which take you down to this level or can take you from round here actually you can do this as well from round here it can take you up back up to this level well, all you got to do is remember to start with your first block opposite one of the uprights and then when you come down with the stairs it should finish around about there opposite that one there it kind of just works these stairs it just actually works i like it i really do i love these stairs and you can add in some little trap doors as well for floorage as well very sneaky, very sneaky stairs indeed. Okay, so tip number six, I think we're on to, would be the the nether portal. So this simply integrates into your five by five system like that, and then the uprights go up into the wall. You one, two, three, four. I guess technically you don't need that one in the corner, or do you? Anyway, these ones go up into the ceiling, and there you go. You've got yourself a little nether portal built into the five by five system, kind of integrated. Lovely. Um, armories for tip number seven. These work nicely as well. You just put your chests down for all your bows and arrows and swords and whatnots. And then your, um, what do you call it, armor stands sit right on top. And it just also sits there nicely in a little five by five, three by three cubicles for your armory. I love that. It's a really, really cool tip. Um, so let's go underground here. We haven't built stairs down everywhere yet, but um, where's, oh yes, down here, I had Kalini, one of my helpers, build this auto smelter system. And again, it integrates nicely into the five by five system. This looks cool. We've got some anvils ready as well. So you've got a chest up here, you need a bit of space above it. Hopper feeding the furnace, chest, feeding the furnace and then down into a chest like that. It all just works in these little three by three sections. I thought that means maybe about um, three by four, three by five sections as well. And then the last tip as well, you don't need to have these uprights absolutely everywhere. You can do that and you can make yourself a double uh, sized room. So I think this is expandable, it is doable, it is cute, it makes little cool rooms. You can have farms and aquariums. Uh, we've got a cool little place up here where Panda <laughs> sleeps. I don't know who Panda is, but there we go. Um, I like it. I like building underground bases and I like my 5x5 system. Hopefully you do too. And hopefully that's been 10 useful tips. Don't forget, if you hit like this button, if you like this button, hit the... Uh, if you like the video... Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, <coughs> uh, I'm so nervous. Bye! If you like my channel and want to support my work, then consider my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Zoda, where you can get newsletters, download all my builds, get build coaching, ranks on my server, discounts off my merchandise, and more. Check it out, patreon.com forward slash Andy Zoda.